Joey D, and today I will be unboxing and testing an LG PH550 Mini Beam Projector. So this went on sale at Best Buy today for a hundred bucks off, so you can't not buy it and not test it. Joey, it's not actually on sale. That's their normal price. Uh-uh. It said a hundred dollars off. Was it $3.99? So I got this uh, this projector at Best Buy today, and as you can see, it's wrapped fancy. Actually, I wrapped it myself in this fancy paper, so it would look more like a present. Well, I'll go ahead and show you the outside packaging here. We've got a LG Mini Beam uh, built-in battery, Bluetooth, wireless. Oddly enough, it doesn't say the model number, but this is the PH550. And some brief specs, LED, 30,000 hours, up to a 100 inch projection screen, HD, that's 720 by 1280, screen share, 3D optimizer, USB plug and play, and HDMI. So as we open the front here, you'll notice, piece of foam, wow, and it's right there on top, underneath the first layer of foam, it says mini beam on it. The front, the top, and side, the back. On the back we have an HDMI, a USB, and AVN, headphone jack, um, which I'm sure you can also use to do your little portable speakers out, um, RGB in, we've got the TV antenna in or the coaxial in, and then we also have the uh, power adapter is have what appears to be everything else um, who actually looks at instructions really okay do not put this bag on a baby's head or put it on your head and choke with it and do not eat it that's what they're saying here. So, if those are the kind of instructions they have, you probably don't really need instructions. Power adapter is pretty small. In fact, let me measure the size of the power adapter. Four and a quarter inches by one inch by two inches. Uh, roughly a four foot cable. Okay, so three feet and four feet. You'll get a total of somewhere between six and eight feet. I don't know who uses these anymore, but if you do, then you're in luck. You like how they color code everything? This is yellow, it goes in the yellow thing. There you go, now it can go straight to your VCR, or your little DVD player, or whatever you want. Comes with some cheap batteries. We have a remote control. Remote control is roughly six and three quarters inches long by two inches wide and at the thickest point it's about an inch thick six and three quarters roughly by and i'll measure it from the lens how far it's poking out to the back part five inches of clearance that's uh, accounting for this as well, so five inches including that. And we've got one and three quarters inches thick, not including the feet. Um, you've got the front, the focus is right up here. There's no zoom and that's okay. You just move it back or forward however, however you want it. A little joystick for the menu on the top and you push the little button in to select. Um, we've got sides ventilation on the sides so the projector case only will only fit this it's not going to fit this so if you don't have the battery charge you're going to need to carry this around okay i've had a chance to play with the ph 550 a little bit and i figured that i could use a little bit of time to show you how to set it up and also how to hook up some devices and we can check out some spreadsheets and some other practical applications of the projector. So I'm just going to get out some of the things I need here. Uh, 
I'm just going to run it straight to the beige wall. This is three feet, almost exactly. In fact, if I set it right here, it'll be exactly three feet. But once you've powered it on from the back, this lights up, and then you push this, and you'll actually get the projector to, to turn on here. So let's go over the remote control really quick. Uh, the most important part is the part that I'm showing you right here. OK is to select an option on the menu, and these are to navigate up and down, left and right on the menus. Uh, this is to take you to a menu. This is to get to the settings menu. Um, and this is to take you back a menu or to exit the menu. Push the settings button. You're welcome to pause the video or play it in slow motion if you really love it. You know what, first I'll go to energy saving maximum. Uh, we can turn it down to medium or even down to minimum. Let's just leave it at minimum for now. Picture mode, we have all of these different uh, settings where it sets the white balance and the gamma. Scroll down, we have some other options here. Sound mode standard, it also has news. I think this will pick up vocals a little more. Uh, the spoken word, we're just gonna close out of that auto volume off. Okay, so here's the clock, uh, set a timer. screen share and Bluetooth. Oh. Espanol. Francais. On peut faire le français, mais uh, maintenant je vais le faire en anglais. You'll notice this happens with projectors sometimes. They go like that and you have to adjust them to get them where you want them. Uh, this one does it automatically, but you can set it manually if you'd like. When I plugged in something to the HDMI, it automatically recognized it, so I didn't even have to change the source here. I hooked up a USB thumb drive uh, that was had multiple partitions on it. It recognized the one that was in FAT32. Uh, it did not recognize my Mac formatted partition, so if you're using the Mac formatted thumb drives, you may need to reformat it to FAT32 or one of the newer standards. We've got the VGA cable, uh, old style monitor cable. I'm going to hook this up to my laptop really quick. It has an Excel doc, a Microsoft Excel document open on it. All right, um, and so you can see uh, an Excel document. Um, now this is on a a three-foot screen, I could blow this up, but I can already read these numbers. These are at 50%. Here we have an 8321, 15050, 13020, 70%, 80%, 90%, and 100%, which is probably where you're going to spend the majority of your presentations, it is at 100%. So here we have numbers displayed at 100%. I can read all of them. Um, people will be able to read them from a small conference room, maybe of uh, 20 capacity. Okay, next up we're going to do a wired connection to my iPad. I bought this little connector here. It's got the lightning on this side to VGA. You could also do lightning to HDMI. And there is my iPad. Okay, so I've got my older style Apple TV here, and what I'm going to do is hook it up via HDMI. And I'll click yes to accept the device. And now I have my Apple TV playing on my LG PH550. Let's see if can go to movies. Now one thing I noticed is that on occasion it'll give you an error saying that it can't play from this device. Um, but it doesn't always do it. So if it does that, try exiting out of the app and then going back into it. One of the other nice things about being able to hook this up to your Apple TV is I will interrupt it to do AirPlay. So now I'm going wirelessly from my iPad to the Apple TV, which is connected to that PH550. I like to use Keynote, so I'm going to 
hook up a keynote presentation here. So I could walk around the room and have this with me without a wire attached, even though I have an Apple device um, and LG does not support Apple and I believe that's, I suspect that's probably Apple's fault. So I turn the brightness all the way up and plug this in. This is about eight feet away. And this is about 66 inches. I try to set the camera so that it captured it uh, well enough, but there's a lot of depth to this picture. And that comes along with that 100,000 to one contrast ratio. You can really tell it stands out. I've seen 800 lumen ones that were like a 20,000 contrast ratio, and this is definitely a step above that. Uh, so good high quality color and contrast, and probably close to as bright as you're gonna get on a high quality projector with a battery. I'm gonna begin turning back on the lights. I'll start with some 70 watt bulbs. Four lights on in the room again. Projector is about six and a half feet away. I have all the lights back on. I have the brightness turned up all the way uh, by minimizing the power save. And uh, I actually have lights shining directly at the wall. My impression of the LG PH550 mini beam projector is that it's pretty cool. It's compact. It fits in my briefcase super easily. It has solid construction. It has a battery that lasted two and a half hours. Towards the end, it got a little dim running on the battery, uh, maybe the last 15 or 20 minutes. Even when I had the Excel document zoomed back to 50% of its original size, I could still read the numbers. Uh, PowerPoints, I could read the small fonts. And it played movies smoothly. One takeaway from this is that the further away that it is from the wall and the bigger the picture is, the dimmer you're going to have to have the room. And uh, the more color you use and the more contrast you want to see, you're going to have to dim the room. Excel documents where it's got a white background, it's pretty much a black and white type of scenario. You can do that in a well-lit room with no problem. At uh, a 30 inch screen or a 60 inch screen, which is plenty big for situations where you're in a conference room of about 10 people um, and are doing a, a presentation. I will probably use this at work so I, that I don't have to check out a projector um, and also will use it at home for movies and I'll use it for my PowerPoints when I do my lessons at church. So if this presentation was helpful, be sure to give it a thumbs up below. And if you have any questions, be sure to comment, and I'll respond to those as much as I can. Thanks. And if you live in the Northwest like I do, having it fit in a Ziploc bag is pretty handy.